Hello everybody! My name is Brie Love Mura. I'm a live 2D artist and animator? Modeler? Rig person? I put the bones in the model and this is a video of how I put the bones in this model over the course of 15 days. But the title is kind of clickbait because it was 15 days spread out over three months and I'm also not counting how long it took me to draw the model because I don't have a good idea of how long that took but I do have it in a recording so I'll put it here just so you can look at it. This is a disclaimer. This is not a tutorial. You might get something useful out of it and I'm glad if you do but it's not a tutorial. It's mostly for entertainment purposes because I think my suffering in live 2D is funny and I may get live 2D terminology wrong. I've been working in live 2D for like a year and a half on and off with very large month gaps in between so there's a lot of stuff I don't know how to do and there's a lot of stuff I do wrong and you can drag me for it in the comments if you want I don't really care I do actually care please be nice to me in the comments <laughs> but you know we're here for the ride so so have fun <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be um basically I took notes and I recorded a hundred percent almost a hundred percent like 99 percent of me working on this model and I took notes along the way to be like this is what I did this day and this was my struggle for the day so I'm gonna recite all of those back to you and if you like the video thank you for watching okay so Let's get started! <laughs> so, for day one is initial file setup, you know, texture atlas, organize some parameters, maybe set up a few warp deformers, or like I really just set up as many as I can until I can't think of any more and then add more as I go, which definitely won't um, come back to haunt me later. Also maybe setting up a few toggles. It took about two hours. Um, I also went ahead and did some color coding on the parameters folder because I think that's extremely important. Looks cute. I also ran into, I don't know if it was a bug or something that I did wrong, but I used to be able to just like control A and select all the parts and then auto generate the meshes, but uh, I don't know what I did, <laughs> but it would not let me. So uh, I started doing some of those individually. Also apparently um, I started gluing the legs together. Um, I don't know how to use glue and I did a very bad job and I made some rotation deformers in the legs so that I could look at the glue. And I know that later on, that's gonna cause problems for me, so uh, keep an eye out for that. <laughs> okay, day two um, was gluing the other leg and also trying to glue the arms to the torso again still don't really know how glue works so did an atrocious job at that very good um adding more warp deformers yep definitely um creating some other toggles and then finally after getting most of that setup out of the way i started rigging the eyes i think i actually finished rigging the eyes this was about like two and a half hours i think i also made sure that i used uh the method of copy and pasting the entire eye instead of rigging another eye because that's more work and why would I want to do more work <laughs> I also did take a second to rig some some nice eye physics on the highlights and and try to do a little animated glitter in the eyes it ends up not very visible on the model but you know what I like it and that's what matters <laughs>
Day three was the first day I decided to start streaming while I was working on this model. And I got to show off some of the stuff that I did off stream, like the eyes. So what I ended up doing that day was finishing some more eye physics. And I started rigging the mouth. I used uh, Celia's method, which is, um, I don't know, I'll put a graphic somewhere and I'll link in the description the example that I followed. But I ended up uh, just being like okay with it. I probably did something wrong for sure, but um, I basically uh, decided that I would redo that later. <laughs> Um, I also ended up adding physics to the earrings for no real reason, just so I could look at them, probably. Adding more, more warp deformers to the hair and face and stuff. And then, eventually, we got to rigging face angle X. That's, that's a good start. There we go. Overall, this day took, I spent uh, around 3 hours and 20 minutes working on it on stream. Again, I think I had fun trying Celia's method, but I still think I probably did it wrong, so I'm gonna redo it later. I'm gonna make that a problem for future me. <laughs> Day four, um, I rigged the eyebrows. That's it. Uh, the recording I have for day four is literally eight minutes of me rigging the eyebrows. I don't have any more commentary than that. <laughs> Day five, uh, I wanted to try and mess around with the mouth forms more, but I don't think I really fixed anything. I just spent like 40 minutes trying to adjust it to see if I could get it more like what I wanted, but I just, nah. I was just gonna have to redo it, which is fine. It'd be like that sometimes, rigging models. Day 6 was also a stream day. We're live again. By the way, I stream on twitch.tv forward slash lovemura. Come hang out sometime, maybe. On this day, we finished Angle X and Again, I went and tweaked the earring physics for no reason, just because I could, I guess. Um, we spent to like three hours, three hours, 15 minutes. And I know that specifically I remember during this day, I was like doing everything on angle X except for the horns. Cause I was like, I'm going to have a very hard time with the horns. I don't want to do the horns. There's too hard. I don't want to do it. And also I was like putting off the glasses to the very last second because I was like the glasses are also going to be too hard for me to do. I don't want to do it. <laughs> but then I did the glasses and they turned out to be super easy. So that was a waste of time. Anyway. <laughs> so day seven was finishing up any last tweaks I had on face angle X, aha, uh -huh. and we started angle Y. It was about 2 hours, 25 minutes. Uh, my notes say that I, I don't really have any special notes about this. That's cool. Um, I will show off those angles though. I'll, I'll do it. I did the up and the down. I'll show them off on screen somewhere, I hope. Editor me, get to it. I also remember that I was- I really didn't want to do the corners of the face and- and I- I know I didn't want to do it because I- I put it off for like- like two weeks or something. <laughs> so day eight was another stream day. Very fun. Also at this point I had um, exported like a test of the model to look at, to look at these angles because, you know, check for things. You should probably do that while working on models, you know, export every once in a while and see how things are looking. 
because it's it's easier to catch problems. But there was an issue with the eyes closing, so I had to fix that a little. And we did the corners, the dreaded face corners. We did them. It was a uh, uh, three hours and twenty one minutes. In my notes, I have synthesized corners, which I did. I do remember on stream doing that and being like, oh, ho, ho. so if I if I can find a clip of it, I'll put it in here. I'm not hoping for something great. I'm hoping for something I can work from. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then I think I remember my computer started struggling this stream, so we probably didn't do too much else other than that. So yeah, face corners, done, cool. Day nine was the start of rigging the body. We did body X, very nice, two hours and 15 minutes. I made a habit of rigging the body with the jacket off first. So like, if you see a lot of the jacket breaking, that is why. I swear I go back and fix it later. That's it. <laughs> day 10 was another stream day and you guessed it, we did body Y. Up and down, baby. It was four hours of this. Again, lots of jacket breaking. And I know that uh, I got distracted a lot during the stream. I'm pretty sure I stopped like midway through the stream just to show off like like the cool head angles that, we've, that, I, that I finished off stream. Smile. And I also still haven't redone the mouth yet, by the way. Also, apparently, here's a picture of my cat that I showed on stream. Um, that's stovetop. There's my boy, there's my baby boy still top. <laughs> there he is! There's a pretty big gap between this day and the next day, so I assume it's because I had to work on other things. Day 11, we finally redid the mouth. We did it. And um, I did the corners, body corners. We did body Z and and Z-step, we did the steppies, yes. <laughs> uh, this is uh, broken up into two recordings actually. I did one earlier in the day and then I did one in the evening. Um, earlier in the day was like an hour and that's when I redid the mouth. I also at this point received an iPhone, which is null and void now because improved Android tracking came out and also has mouth X. But at the time I did this, it didn't exist. So that was pretty cool. Um, while rigging, re-rigging the mouth, I think I referenced Kiro Mori's mouth chart, which is extremely useful. I'll put it somewhere on screen. I also had bunchadas. I will also put on screen and link in description. Anyone who, like I mentioned, that I took some reference material from, go follow them. Go check them out. They're really good. They're really good at what they do. So yeah, I, I redid mouth and added mouth X, which was cool. In the second recording, okay, that was uh, three-ish hours. I did the body corners, yes. And I did angle Z and then I did Z step. When I say Z step, that's the the leg stepping animation. Cause some models have it, some models don't. It's controlled through physics, and Celia has an amazing reference model for this. I highly recommend. I'll put it in the description. Now, there's also a little note. I don't have any recording of this, but offline, I went back to my model art, and I drew in my drawing tablet <laughs> because it wasn't in the original model file and I decided to add it in. I also um, at that point started fixing the arm toggles because those weren't rigged to move with the body yet. That's just some little notes. That doesn't count as a day. I don't know when I did this. Now on to day 12. 
was, again, we were continuing fixing all the arm toggles and rigging the drawing hand. I love rigging drawing hands. I think it's neat having a little tablet that tracks your mouse. I don't know. I just think it's cool. I also rigged some, some neat physics on the tablet. Uh, tail animations. We did that. We did some physics for some emotes. We did some, um, little, some little tweaks on mouth X and cheek puffs. I have those now. It was around four hours of doing all that. But yeah, basically I just, I went back and I rigged both my arm toggles to actually move with the body because I had been ignoring those. I did, I did the drawing arm, which those get their own custom parameters, one for X and one for Y so that they can have a nice tracking, you know? I also wanted a nice in and out for the tablet appearing. I did this glowing effect on the tablet completely by accident because I was trying to do something else, but I ended up liking how this one looked more, so I decided to keep it. <laughs> but yeah, I also want a physics on the tablet so that the mouse interacting with the tablet was like some, some it, it makes some sweet bouncing action, you know? It looks pretty cool, I don't know. When I do physics, I just be like, what if I made it bouncy? <laughs> Oh, also, I put in some, some idle animation for the tail. That's linked with the breathing parameter via physics. Last time I rigged a tail on a model, it went really, really wrong. So I was trying to not do anything too crazy. I also love rigging a second position on tails because normally you, you wouldn't see it on the model uh, because it's, it's cut off screen. But if, if you have a thing that where it flips up, then you can see it. And that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. This model has that. There it is. Cool. Yeah, it has it. <laughs> so day 13 was another stream day. And it was a stream day that was highly anticipated. I told all of my chat that I would wait so I could stream doing physics because physics are fun. It was a nice four hour stream, four and a half hours, and we just we did all the physics. <laughs> we did the physics on the jacket, we did the physics on the booba, we did physics on the thighs because why not? We did physics on the little charm on the tablet pen no one can stop me basically at this point the amount of warp deformers um in this model file is becoming incomprehensible definitely not good i probably could optimize it but i do not care because my computer can still run it at this point so i don't know <laughs> i only managed to rig half of the hair physics on stream because i had to go do something but we sure did do all them physics. Also, chat really, really wanted me to export a work in progress of the model. So we so we just sat there and stared at Live 2D for like 10 minutes while it tried to export it. We were just sitting there staring at the progress bar. I'm pretty sure I have a clip of it. So if, if I do, I'll put it in here. I want it to happen. I want it. Here's some good luck cheeks. Oh, thank you for the good luck cheeks. Thank you. What I did for day 14 was finishing hair physics, finishing any other physics that I could think of, finally fixing the glue that I did very, very wrong. That did come back to haunt me, to no one's surprise. Even though I, I redid it, I feel like it still wasn't that great, but that's okay. We also put some additional physics on some expressions, and somewhere in this recording, you'll see the, the Live 2D animator for the first time. Okay, so it was about four hours, four hours, ten minutes-ish of rigging. If, uh, whenever I open the physics and blend settings menu, I actually went back and disabled the body movement 
so that I could see the hair physics better because it was just a lot of me adjusting the hair I rigged and then clicking and dragging around in the physics menu and just to see how it looks. It's just rigging hair physics. It's just so much trial and error. It's just doing whatever until you get something you like. So I went back and I did the other side of the hair, which was cool. I did it. Also, all my physics uses nested deformers, which might not be the best idea because I ended up with 3,000 warp deformers. I am exaggerating, but there, there's a lot in there and it definitely <laughs> did affect how well the model ran on my other computer that is weaker, but that's okay. I don't need it there. While I was rigging all these, uh, I'm here to tell you that uh, Temporary Paths became my best friend. Uh, I also know I went back and decreased some of the physics on the booba because my chat was going crazy and we don't need all that. I don't need that energy. Remember like way back in the beginning of the video when I, I glued the arms to the shoulders? Yeah, I finally redid that and I also glued the boob to the chest because I kept having issues with clipping on the straps because of where I cut the line for the straps. Which, I don't know if this was the best way to separate the boobs for rigging, but that's how I did it. I think it helped! <laughs> and then finally, I did open the live 2D animator after avoiding it this entire time because I wanted an alternate idle animation that puts my model to sleep when she loses tracking. And finally... We made it, bro! We're on day 15, which was the day that I finished the model. All I had left to do was to literally do some final checks. I had to do some final checks. I had to go back and add, open the animator again to do the, the crying animation. The crying animation idol, I wanted to have some of that action. I did do that. I also... In the span between day 14 and 15, saw another model that had reactive ears to the eyelid opening and closing, but it was like really subtle and I was like, that's cute. I would like to have that. So I did go back and add that in. And I also did my waving animation. And um, when I exported before, I noticed some clipping with one of my expressions. The, the one with the shadow on the face. I don't know if I'll remember to put a clip of it in here, but that one. Basically, there, there was some problems with the actual art texture, so I had to go back and clip studio paint and redo all that. But that was it. That was all I had to do. I just had to export it, check for any bugs, then export it again, and we're done. <laughs> so there we go. That was it. That was how I rigged my model in 15 days. I don't know the total amount of hours that went into it. I'll do some math and, and put a nice number up on the screen for you. Thanks, editor me. I appreciate you greatly. <laughs> um, there's definitely a lot of stuff I probably did wrong. But I also definitely learned a lot of stuff along the way. I got to look at some very good references, which again, anything I reference in this video is also in the description. Please go take a look at all the amazing live 2D creators out there because they're really talented and they do amazing work. And you know, they deserve all the support they can get. I don't really have any more for post commentary. So I'm gonna put a nice live 2D showcase here after this talking segment so that you can look at the model wow okay that's all i have um if you made it this far thank you for watching i appreciate you and have a nice day i'm gonna go lay down bye <laughs>